growth and also jobs. Today, there is good news because the United States and uh, developed countries are facing a strengthening in their economic growth. And this is good. This is good because if the economic, uh, the developed world are growing strong, it means the global world development is also growing strong. But the bad news, the bad news is the emerging markets, including Indonesia, we are faced with new pressures. Uh, and as you can see, there is a slowing of economic growth. For us, emerging markets, our jobs domestically is to continue to improve our conditions domestically, if it's structural reforms or even fundamental reforms. It is with our hope that at the global level, at the external level, they too will not add more burden for the economies of the emerging markets. For example, stabilities of finance, of the world must be safeguarded so that we, we with the emerging markets, try to maintain our economic growth. We will not be burdened further by the situation occurring that are from external shocks. Indonesia's experience, even though it is very difficult in the past, even though we face another difficult economic crisis today, but our solution is pro-growth and pro-jobs, including pro-poor, because we are still a developing country. We to try to prevent the addition of poor people Joining, and when they're facing crisis, my views, there are two points I want to share with you. Firstly, growth can be safeguarded the best way possible, and we can support those weakest. Today, what is realistic, we must strengthen investment. I encourage all of you, the business world, come. I encourage you to work with the governments of any, any member of the G20, have collaboration. Strength and investment. If you have investment in your countries, jobs will be created. And at the global level, growth will occur and we can reach growth. The government are more than willing to provide the regulations and policies that are pro-investments. And also, the second point I want to share with you, we want to prevent layoffs. Prevent layoffs. Because if layoffs occur, it is almost certain that the spending abilities will fall drastically, demand will fall drastically, and the crisis will be even worse and the crisis will worsen. So, however we try, there must be a compromise of the trilateral agreements between the business, the labor, and the government. The government will provide, for Indonesia, for example, my government will provide incentive, fiscal incentives, for companies that are facing difficulty, with a point, with a note. It's not that easy for you to do your layoffs. Therefore, for the laborers, if you are still productive and you're still disciplined, we take care of your, uh, your uh, concerns, we prevent layoffs, we provide facilities and regulations that support you. So in this crisis, in this crisis, we can both save jobs. Jobs for me, for me, for Indonesia, is not only job creation, but job is about job security. Those workers, we must give them the hope. We don't want them to be laid off. And those that are working, we've got to empower them. We give them a job. That is my views. Above all, collaboration. Collaboration is global, regional, and national. And so too, between the government and also the labor and the business of the world, I think with that kind of commitment, that kind of collaboration, that kind of real cooperation, we, we will be able to truly return our economic global growth. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Mr. President, now the floor is given to the President of France, Mr. Hollande. Thank you very much, Mr. President. France is committed to the...